This weekend, the Hindu community celebrates Diwali. It's a five day festival and it marks the triumph of good over evil. Debbie is from Tandoor Chef and she's live this morning to talk about the holiday and giving us a, kind of an introduction recipe if you haven't tried Indian food yet. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> the recipe is for a dip, which, you know, is good mm -hmm. for folks if you aren't a fan of Indian food or really haven't uh, fully appreciated it to kind yes. of move into it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a good gateway to actually introduce yourself to Indian food. You know, um, Diwali starts November 3rd. It's a five-day festival in which, you know, involves, it actually means row of lights. Row so, of lights, okay, yeah. cool. So it involves a lot of lighting of candles, there's fireworks involved, exchanging of gifts, and of course, a lot of food. What's a holiday without food, That's right? True. Is it kind of like a New Year celebration? Yes, okay. it is, it is. To, to, to celebrate the triumph of good over evil. So it starts November 3rd, and um, you know, a couple ways if you're not familiar with Indian food, one way is to actually, before we start with a recipe, is to try some of the frozen varieties that are out there. That way you're not investing yes. and buying all the exactly. supplies Exactly. So you can try spices. a couple okay. different things, and Tandoor Chef is a great variety that's available in your frozen food section. It's actually very traditional, authentic Indian food from a family-owned company. So it's a great place to try some Indian food. And we have a recipe that we they do. put on their website yes. for mint chutney. All right, yes. we start right here with the Cuisinart, already inside green chilies. Green chilies, okay. yes. And if you'll notice all the color, and this is you know a very plant-based diet. Um, so this is mint. We're just gonna put some mint in here. And, and they you, have this and in you the can, grocery stores? And yes. This looks like a lot fresh. of mint. It's a lot of mint. <laughs> but you can see it really kind of It does. Goes it, it, down. it comes down. Cilantro. So another really good herb here. Um, onion. Use this. Oh, excuse me. And then we have to squeeze in some lemon. Then we have to squeeze in some lemon. So you only need about a tablespoon, but you want to use fresh. So that's about, oops. There you go. So there Put we the go. Lemon on. And yes. then you put the Cuisinart together, yes. you turn it on, and how you served it over here was with some naan bread, which is a yes. tradition, traditional. Traditional, traditional um, Indian bread. And we're just going to put enough water. Um, let me turn on here, I think. All right. So anyway, we put enough water just to kind of make a thick paste, and this is what it looks like. Um, now, naan is a traditional um, Indian bread, okay, and it's it's a great way to kind of use these dips. So. And if you want some more information on this recipe, go to fox45now.com. Click yes. on Fox 45 in the morning. Thank you so much. Thank you.